she did it again. That's what I can say about Pat McGrath and her Divine Rose 2 palette. So if you want to see how I created this look, hear what I think about the palette and hear about my customer service experience and how no matter how much I love the product I probably will not be ordering from the Pat McGrath Labs website again then stick around because we're about to get right into it hi y'all I'm Mona I'm glad you're here this is About Face with Mona. This is a channel geared towards everything for the mature woman, lifestyle, beauty, and skin care. But everybody is welcome here. This is always a safe space for any age. And a lot of the products that I review are appropriate and loved by all ages. So I hope that you will join my family. Press that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you're notified when I upload a video. I'm going to talk about the details of this product. I am going to show you some swatches. I am going to get into the look. And then after that, I'm going to give you my experience that was not so good with the ordering process and the customer service with the Pat McGrath website. If you'd like to hear about that, then stick around till the end. This is what the box looks like. The artwork is stunning. So you open it up and out pops the black edition. There is a limited pink edition of this that I have paid for and ordered but do not have and I do not have her Divine Rose lip collections even though those have been paid for and ordered and that's sort of what I'm going to talk about at the end and why I'm less than satisfied with the whole process. But I do have this to show you. It did come in before the other ones. This was going to be a gift for someone and I was going to give this one away and I was going to keep the pink one but because I know a lot of you are excited to see this as I was to get it, I'm showing you this one. And it is beautiful. So this is her large tin pan palette. This retails for $125. It is a true luxury palette. It's not just high end, it is absolute luxury. It does compare to the Divine Rose one, which is this one. I think this one is much more muted down. It is very wearable, has a lot of everyday colors, very soft rose glam. Although you can build it up with the pops of gold and her special shades, which Pat McGrath has four special shades in every palette. This one, the two, you can see definitely for starters has this bright pink color, but there's the special shades. She's got this one multi-chrome shade for, for one thing that is as soft as butter and it is just delightful to behold. The color shifts from pink to green to blue. I can see so many different colors in this. It is a beautiful, beautiful color. I have a whole face of Pat McGrath on today. Foundation, powder, concealer, everything except bronzer. We're going to do some forehead swatches. So this is the Skin Show Rose Opal. This is the Naked Blush. I love this color. I think that is so pretty. That to me is an all over eye color that I could wear with just a little pop of shimmer on top and that would be a beautiful look. This is the color Elegant. The next color is Bronze Rosé. And this is another one of my favorites in this palette. The next color is Gold Lust. Okay, next we're going to go into the Extreme Burgundy. Why do I always make swatches crooked? 
That color is so pretty. Next one is Divine Dusk. The next one is Rose Seduction. This is the VR Sextra Terrestrial. I think it says VR. I don't have my glasses on. This is a multi-chrome that just catches so many colors. Let me put this one right here where you can see it. Two. Yeah, can you see the shift? And then this gold topper. Kind of overlapped a little bit there. So if you're wondering kind of how these compare to the Divine Rose 1, let's look at these. So this gold is a little similar to the gold here, but they're not exactly alike. If I swatch this gold from the one next to the, the gold from the two, you can see that there is some difference. This is the white color that has the shift to pink. Then the gold topper. The multi-chrome special shade in the Divine Rose one. You can see that shift. If you compare the colors, this is Divine Rose 2. These are from Divine Rose 1. Divine Rose 1 is definitely more muted. You have a couple of pops of color. And Divine Rose 2 is just much more vibrant. Okay. Let me wash this off my face and let's get into the look. My face is prepped and ready to go. It's actually prepped with a full face of Pat McGrath. Right down to the lipsticks, which I do love her lipstick formulas. I love all of her products. This all right, so this is what the palette looks like. These four are her special shades. This one right here is a fascinating color. So it really is a fascinating color. There's no doubt about the quality. I'm gonna go in with this blush color right here. This is such a beautiful color by itself. This could be a one and done look. It's very pigmented. I'm going in with a very light hand. I gave it a little heavier hand on this side just so you could see. That really is a pretty color. I am going to go in on this eye with the purple color. This is the darkest color in the palette. So after the purple, I'm going to go in with this pink color right here. I'm 
Okay, and then in this inner corner, I am going to go in this color right here. I'm going to take my little detail brush, wet this brush, and I am going to go in to this special shade right here, this multi-chrome color. Pick up a little bit, and I'm going to go in to the corner. I'm going to take that purple color and I'm going to smoke out underneath my eyes. I'm going to take a little bit of that gold. This is kind of a topper color. And I'm going to go over that middle just a little bit. Let's add some eyeliner. Go in with Pat. This is in the color Extreme Black. Pat's Mascara. Just gonna speed this up. Cause this is what we have for that eye. Let's zoom you in. What do you guys think? Okay, let's do the other eye. So for the other eye, I'm going to go in, instead of with the purple, I'm going to go in with that bright pink and the green. And we're going to do a look with this one and that multi-chrome. Alright, so I'm packing on the pink. And right inside of that pink, I'm going to go in with this color, one with the shift, man, I'm going to take my finger, Okay, I'm going to go back in my crease just a little bit, and I'm going to warm that up. Okay, I'm going to go off camera and line this and put my mascara on. Okay, this is my other eye. Let's zoom you in. That's the final look. What do you guys think? Okay, that's the final look.
And we're talking about the problems with the release. So I own almost every single product that Pat McGrath has released. From her primer, foundation, setting powder, under eye concealer, under eye powder, mascara, eyeliner, lip liner, multiple lipsticks, both sets of highlighters, some of her single shadows, four of her tin pan palettes, four of her astral quad size palettes, one of her mini palettes. So almost everything that she has, I have spent well over two grand, maybe even more than that, on Pat McGrath's products. My experiences going to her website have not always been positive. This launch was no different. What happens is you sign up for VIP so that you can get alerted ahead of time to the launch. You know that is a good chance it's going to sell out based on past experience, so you're ready. I actually scheduled my work break to coincide with the release of this launch to make sure that I was on the website at the right time. Got my VIP code, which gives you 10% off. You log on, you really don't have time to shop and look around. You have to know what you want and be ready to put it in your basket and check out. So basically I went in to get the limited edition pink covered palette. It came with a pink colored palette for the Divine Rose 1 and 2, so it was a combo. So together that's $250 right there, plus the two lip sets. The peach lip set and the pink Divine Rose lip set. Put it in my cart, check out, my code doesn't work. So I have to decide, do I want to take time to try and enter it or do I just want to pay full price? Because if I take time to re-enter it, I'm probably going to miss out. So I don't take time to re-enter it. I just check out. It tells me it's already sold out. I've only been on the site for like four minutes. I go back and I look at it again and I see that the black case in the Divine Rose 2, which is not limited edition, is still available. So I put that in my cart. I try my code again. Again, my 10% discount code says it's invalid. So I go ahead and check out at full price. When I go back to check to make sure my order didn't get canceled or it went through, it took my payment, that my email gave me a confirmation, I see that it, the pink palettes are showing back up. I go in and try to get them and it says that they're sold out. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm getting the Divine Rose too. That's just gonna have to be enough and the lips and the lip kits. Well, I see a confirmation come in for all three of the palettes and both of the lip kits. So now I've bought three palettes and two lip kits and I've paid a fortune. Well, to this day, my expenses have still been taken out of my bank, but I've only gotten in the black case. So being a content creator, you want to get that limited edition case up, you want to show everybody, you know, you've paid for it so that you can be one of the first reviewers to get your video up so that people will watch your videos, especially when you're a small YouTuber and you have a hard time attracting an audience anyway. And then you only get the black one, but yet your money is still missing out of your bank account. Then I get another email saying that the pink lip kit is going to ship separately and the peach lip kit is now shipping. And I still don't know if the pink limited edition Divine Rose 1 and 2 are coming or not. I have to say that when I checked with customer service, they basically told me that, you know, that they couldn't do anything about it, that things were delayed due to COVID or whatever the excuses were and the big launch, blah, blah, blah. So they were polite, but nothing happened. Now, when this happened with my last order, I had ordered several hundred dollars worth of makeup from the site and I was really ticked because a couple weeks, a few weeks had passed and it had not even shipped yet even though my money had been taken. So I made a comment on the Instagram feed and Pat McGrath or one of her associates did respond to me right away and they said for me to send the confirmation number through the Instagram DM and the next day my order was overnighted. And so I was, ex you know, that was acceptable because it was remedied. This time I still don't have a resolution. But from now on, I'm just saying that no palette is worth that. I'm gonna go on from now on to Sephora or to a retailer and order the palette there. And if I miss out, I miss out.
it wasn't meant for, to be. I'm not gonna put myself out of pocket all that money only to not even have it come in yet anyway. So I'll have to get back to you on if I get the pink palette in and show you that and I'll have to get back to you when the lip collections come in. Are they beautiful? Yes, they are. I love her. I love her brand. I just don't like the service. When I go to the Ritz Carlton, I'm not just paying for the room. I'm paying for the service too. I'm paying for the experience. When you're paying this much for makeup, the service should be as exemplary as the product. So thank you guys for sticking around. I was so happy to spend some time with you this evening and I enjoyed playing in some Pat McGrath. Despite the shopping experience, the palette is fun and I am going to enjoy having it and wearing it. So until next time, I want all of you guys to stay safe and go out and live like Mel. Bye.